hello guys welcome back to my channel yes it's been a while i have been away enjoying motherhood but now i'm back guys i'm back to give you educative and informative content on your study <laughs> to germany journey so welcome back my name is chi chi if you are new to my channel um i talk just you know more lifestyle more study in germany or studying abroad um content and uh today i will be talking about you know three things Let, let's say three things we need to talk about three things you need to be aware of when coming to study in germany and please 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 if you have watched any of my video do not miss this one you know it's very important so um as most of you know i'm from nigeria i had my bachelor's degree program in nigeria and although hmm I would say the educational system is different and you know as a person um, when you get to your 20s you know it's it's not so easy you're not a baby anymore where you just you know you wake up one morning and then you assimilate things you know that fast you know so when you move to Germany to study there's something you need to understand and I will start with the first tip the first tip is you need to be ready to embrace a new form of learning. So what do I mean by that? In my bachelor's studies, there are quite a lot of things that I did we did not do. For instance, it was more it was more theoretical. You know, we we didn't have real life scenarios. We didn't have you know real practicals in my bachelor's degree program here in Nigeria. But in Germany, it was quite different i was exposed to things like um i was exposed to things like you know learning how to write papers i was exposed to group work i was exposed to you know you having to do presentations and when i mean presentations i mean huge presentations and this could be for like your normal assignment or even for your exams you know for the final exams of you know any course of study so it's very important that if you are not very good at writing you take your time and try to you know learn a bit more about writing you know techniques you know try to upgrade your writing skills your essays um, try to understand uh, writing outlines and you know etc etc because this will be very relevant for you when you start studying in Germany um, another thing is you also need to upgrade your presentation skills so of course you can use PowerPoint just you know play around with it try to make presentation and try to even you know stand in front of the mirror and try to you know talk about things that you know you've you've made on the presentation slide because to be honest you you are going to be facing your classmates so you're going to be facing people you don't know from adams and you've never met them and as soon as you get into class you are going to be running this presentation and then you know sometimes you might feel a bit you know not comfortable but i think what happened with me was i was very open i embraced this new changes and i you know i saw it as more learning curve and I, I i i was you know i had worked you know so i had working experience where we use presentations uh presentation slides so it was pretty much easy for me but then you know i wasn't so used to that you know facing people and talking and so that was a bit tricky for me but guys you i mean this is super easy you know with time you're gonna get used to it but it's very important that if you have no clue about you know writing a presentation please do a bit of research and try to learn as much as you can and the other thing is hmm <laughs> In Nigeria, I'm sure you know, whenever you have an assignment, you could, you know, tell your classmate, oh, have you done it? Um, can I see what you've done? Let, let me see. Guys, no. In this case, in this scenario, in the <laughs> this should not happen because as soon as your work is kind of close to another person's work, the, 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 the professor or the lecturer is not stupid, you know. They would know this and you know and somehow if you get to write papers where you just you know copy and paste or you just you know quote uh, i mean copy you know um copy other people's work you know work that have been published i mean and then you just paste it in your work without even referencing the author or quoting the author that could be that could be a big problem for you because if you not if you if you don't know about plagiarism so plagiarism is a big big deal in europe 
um, it can cost you quite a lot it can cost you your education as well so try as much as possible to avoid copying and then even when you copy other people's work try to reference them or, or you know quote them in the in the work itself and so the number two thing is get ready for the cultural shock guys this one is this one is actually very big because it's a big change you know and when i mean culture shock i mean it could be you know the people it could be the weather it could be you know just the way things are done you know culture is quite a lot of things and when you move into a new environment believe me you it's not it's different from what you used to you know especially if you just come from nigeria um the good thing about me is i was already living in dubai so i was kind of acclimated with you know um working with people from different cultures you know but i mean if you're just migrating <laughs> or moving directly from nigeria straight to the abroad it's not going to be very easy because um you 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 have you need to learn quite a lot of things you know you need to learn how to deal with people and you might be surprised that the way people react and interact is quite different from you know what you're used to so um, that being said, um, I think what I would recommend is you having just an open mind and be ready, you know, be ready to stretch yourself out of your comfort zone because you're going to be really, really stretched, you know, um, try as much as possible to um, get as much support from like, the Nigerian group or also um, international groups of your in your campus. So in, in your university, they have all these international groups. Try as much as possible. Do not, you know, hide yourself in the house and feel like, you know, the whole world is against you and all and all. It's usually the, um, the reaction of new students. You know, I kind of did that for a while. I, I tried to hide myself um, or hide myself. I tried to skip classes, you know, just, you know, hoping that I feel good but in the long run I think it came around to bite me so what am I trying to say you know do not hide do not hide things to yourself try and reach out to people the Nigerian scholar group try and join this group and try to you know um, speak out you know um, if you're feeling very lonely especially when you're you know new in town um, try to make friends. Um, I know it's not so easy when I say this. I haven't made quite a lot of friends also in Germany myself. So, um, but I mean, Nigerian friends, of course, are always, you know, they're always, you know, out there to, you know, give you support. And yeah, so that, that's basically it. Um, the third most important thing you need to do um, and you need to know, you know, before coming to Germany to study is try as much as possible to be very close to your program coordinator so the program coordinators are like angels they are heaven sent you know i have this one she's been super super wonderful she's been supportive she knew me when things were not so easy with me you know emotionally mentally i was able to reach out to her because you know she she was you know she was like a scorpio like me kind of thing <laughs> but aside that she's a very sweet woman and she's been always supportive with other classmates what do i mean try and find your um program coordinator try and get close to them uh him or her and also try to get closer to the lecturers as well this will help you because um in instances where you don't know how to write in instances where you're not good with presentation if you're a bit closer to the lecturer you could you know chip in and say you know what you're ready to learn you've not done so much presentation but you know if he could give you a bit of you know um um, if he could give you a bit of support. I think there was a day I reached out to a professor who asked us to write a term paper and I said, well, ma'am, I don't really, um, I'm not so good at writing this paper. And, you know, to be honest, is there any other kind of assignment I could take on? And she said, well, thank you for reaching out to me and, you know, you could, can you do this? So she gave me two or three other options, which I was happy to uh, accept. And it was good because she knew me right in the class. I was very participative in class and then she she was able to relate to me you know knowing that i'm a you know i'm an outspoken person but maybe i'm just not good at writing so that happens so guys um this these things i've listed are quite important 
um, try to get close to your lecturer, try to get close to your program coordinator and be friends with your classmates. They can, I know, it's, I know it's not so easy, it doesn't sound so easy. I mean, you have the sixth sense, right? You know how, you know, when, you know, the kind of people you, you could vibe or relate with, but it's important because they are the ones who will give you information on deadlines, something you've skipped or you've missed in class, etc, etc. So all in all, um, be very open-minded, be very ready to accept, you know, new ways of, you know, learning and the new culture you find yourself. And please, again, watch this video before you make your way to germany to study and i wish you all the best guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and this time i'm back and i'm really back for good with wonderful informative content to keep you guys going so have a nice weekend and see you again soon in my next video ciao